my fellow music makers. In this video, we are going to explore the brand new Piano Tech 8, which is a physical modeling plugin, which I am a huge fan of, and I truly believe this technology is the future of software instruments. So let's dive in right now. All right, so here we have it, Piano Tech 8. It has this beautiful interface, which you can actually scale in percent to suit your monitor and it has a huge range if i click here of different pianos each with a folder of presets that changes the tone character and overall sound so the one we have here is the steinway d new york classical preset which sounds like this Okay, if I just switch with the arrows here, I get to the next preset. Pretty neat, right? Jazz. Right? You can just switch presets here, going between the different ones. So, what's great about physical modeling, in my opinion, and why I believe this is the future, of software instruments is one, you have infinite dynamic layers. So if you have a good piano weighted keyboard with a good keybed like I have, you can really feel. I cannot show you this because you have to feel it yourself. The playability, the expressivity. Uh, from the dynamic layers. Uh, you also get, you know, infinite variation with in the tone and sound, just like a real piano. If you if you hit it, hit it like this, every time it's slightly different on a real piano, and it is with this te technology as well. You get these different sympathetic uh, sympathetic resonances between the strings. And you can even see how deep the modeling and mathematic goes if you go here into the action can change the damper position, damper duration. For example, if you don't like, if I uh, have the uh, pedal noise here, a pie, or you can hear it in the microphone, but you cannot hear it here in the actual plugin. So you can dial in the key release noise, damper noise, all this stuff. You can even go in to, if you click here, and shape the actual acoustic properties of the piano for the harmonic series here. Right? Uh, you, can <laughs> you can basically create your own unique piano. Hammer noise, strike point, soft pedal, hammer hardness, soft... impedance, all this stuff. Too advanced for me, but if you like to go in and explore, why not? I like that I have this interface now on the picture here, where if I switch between different presets, you can see new age piano. And of course, what you hear here is the re reverb. If you go into effects, you have delay, EQs, compression, reverbs, all these different ones. And you can even load your own impulse responses for reverbs. If you prefer, you can just turn off the reverb and delay, get a dry sound, and add your external uh, reverb or delay plugin in your DAW. Now, uh, what I also love is with physical modeling, you can actually change how you mic up the piano. If you have a sample library, it is already set with a microphone where they, you know, recorded the piano. But if you click here on microphones, you can see they have four microphones on this activated. One, two, three, four. You can see them here from front view. You can drag them around. Angle. Like so. Differently. Right? You can even change the microphone. They have different modeled microphones. You see how deep this goes. You know, now... So if you want a wider sound, just, you know, uh, grab the microphones there. And I think you can zoom out. You can, either, you can drag the view here. To make them more wide. 
Okay? You can do all, all that stuff, plus uh, the independent volume per microphone. And if you don't like that uh, acoustic shaping, you can go into the bineural mode, uh, which is... I, I have no idea how it works, but if you click here now, you can see a pair of headphones. You can... Stuff like that. Uh, they have a stereophonic, which is just just a stereo. It, it's like plugging a stereo uh, cable into an instrument. Super clean. They even have a monophonic option. If you need a mono piano, I rarely use it, but it can be cool. Microphones is my favorite here. You can go do mallet bounce. If I just hit something now. You hear that? Did it? Did it? Uh, this is probably better on another instrument than piano. We'll get to that later. But uh, basically, the main interface, you get the piano shaping here. You get the image. You get the dynamic velocity curve. Uh, you can go into microphones and set up the acoustics. And you get these effects. And you can turn off or on uh, the effect chain right here. Plus, down below, they actually have a slider where you can drag particular piano let's use one of the more cleaner let's do this jazz you can drag this slider from mint condition which is pristine perfect piano so to speak drag it right condition gets worse so strings are more out of a bit out of tune here go even to the right most right it you can see the interface change now it's like a dirty you know destroyed piano could be really cool for scary, horror, tension, music, and so on. Sometimes you just want it a bit, you know, not mint, just a bit worn to get more. It's like having an analog mode on a synthesizer. Okay, so that is the main interface. Let's dive deeper now. So if you look up here, you see that it says Pro, because I have the Pro version of Pianotech. You can, in fact, get more than the pianos. You get a lot of different pianos, but you can buy a bundle or add instruments. If I open this up, you can see acoustic pianos, which is the main thing about this plugin, of course. Grand pianos, plus even an upright here. But I have the Pro Bundle, which is everything. You get electric pianos, different vintage tines, reed in, uh, electric reeds, clavinets. Chromatic percussion, which is vibraphone, celesta, glockenspiel, you know, these mallets here, kalimba, and so on. Steel pans, piano predecessors, which is a concert harp, and a Celtic harp. Classic guitar, which I believe is new for this um, update. Harpsichord, uh, and even very old pianofortes and uh, pianos here. I don't even know what these are, but it's cool to have them. So, you get uh, also in each folder all these different presets. You can start with one of the most famous pianos, the Steinway D, go to classical preset. Okay, and if you don't want to dive and, you know, sculpt and shape your piano sound yourself, you can just use one of the presets. And they are a, a lot of them, and they are amazing to have. Jazz. And let's say you you want you like the sound, but not really. It's a bit too wide in acoustics and so on. Go in here uh, to the microphones. You know, uh, push these a bit closer and a bit closer to the piano as well. And let's see what the sound. You can even hear in real time. When I, as I update this, it move with them. Oh, they have five microphones on this. Okay. Like this, too wide. You know, you can do anything on the microphone page afterwards. And you can see it says modified, and then you can save it if you want to up here. You see this save icon here. Then you can explore the other pianos, of course. You have another Steinway D Hamburg. Let's do the Steinway B, and let's do the gentle preset. I mean, I, I, I cannot show you how good it feels, how expressive it feels to play this. You need to 
of course you can hear how beautiful it sounds, but the, f the playability. I think there's two, for me, most important aspects of a software instrument or any instrument. The sound is always the most important. The sound, the real sound good, but also the playability and expressivity, how, how it feels to play. Because that is what will inspire and motivate you and kickstart your creative ideas and energy. Uh, so, this is the preset browser, really nice preset browser. You can see the recent presets here, lots of presets for different instruments. Let's just go and explore some of these other categories, if you get the, you know, the bundle of instruments or add them. Like electric pianos, let's do the electric Tynes MK2 soft. So nice, so jazzy and warm. Let's do uh, one of the other ones, MK1 one with, let's see, let's some gentle chorus. They even have this, you know, tremolo, what is it called, uh, Leslie speakers here, which is this spinning speaker. Uh, all of this stuff in the electric keys, electric pianos. The chromatic percussion is one of my favorites because, you know, having infinite dynamics on, let's say, a vibraphone, you don't know how amazing this is. And oh, by the way, if you look down here, you can see white keys and gray keys. What does that mean? Well, basically, this is where the normal range of the instrument stops. Here it's F3 in this particular, but going down, if you press this plus button, you can see that gray goes to like this uh, browny, orangey, brown, whatever this called teal is. Uh, and now I can play an extended range on the instrument. Minus is back. Okay, you don't want to go beyond what the instrument is capable of. Um, and if I drag this slider again, it goes to a bit more worn. It, that is more uh, on you know the pianos. It's more present, but. Uh, I like to have this ex extended range. So this is just... You know, the chromatic percussion, I call this melodic percussion, are super nice in um, for music composition, for soundtrack music. Celesta, or cellist. One of the more most beautiful, magical, shimmering instruments and it, it is this it looks like a keyboard but it is basically you can see here it is basically a keyboard big glockenspiel mix between the keyboard and glockenspiel in my opinion uh and you get of course in all of these you know the you have an ordinary glockenspiel here let's do that and see it here this is glockenspiel you play with mallets and you get this <laughs> Something like that, the Harry Potter famous glockenspiel melody. Um, and uh, then you get some kalimba here. And you can see again, it, it's only this range. Click the plus, and now we can play kalimba, a deep bass kalimba. I mean, you cannot do this. If you if you play if you pitch down an instrument like that in a sample library, it will sound so bad. But since this is Sample modeling. It's so... So awesome. Oh, and this is also a very cool feature. The sustain pedal on many of these, like a harp and kalimba here, is the opposite of a piano keyboard. So if you think this... Now the sustain pedal is up, I don't press down, and you hear how it rings too much. If I press down, it the sustain pedal, it's the opposite of a sustain pedal of piano, it mutes the sound, so now I can play. 
uh, muted sounds. And that takes us to, let's do the steel drums, the hand pan, which is one of my favorite instruments. Me used a lot in meditative and spiritual music, but I think of space. I mean, listen. Especially if we extend the range and add a cool big rev reverb here. You can access the effects here. Go not clean studio, let's do harp hole. Of course, you can add your own reverb if you want to, if you just add it as an insert effect in your DW. They have the uh, concert hop. Again, if I don't press it down. Lisando. Sounds nice. But if I press down the pedal, sustain pedal, it doesn't ring out. So you can shape if you want it to ring out or not. And you can even go in here, click the piano here and see, let's see, uh, direct sound duration, octave stretching. Um, you can experiment with this inertia. I don't even know all these things. You can create your own harp as well. And this goes for any instrument. Kalimba, you know, uh, you get this, whoops. Kalimba, where were you? There. And you can shape the harmonic spectrum, everything, to create your own instrument. Uh, let's see, then they have this classical guitar. Let's do that one. Again. Okay, so here the sustain pedal works as an ordinary sustain pedal. And here I can see they have actually, I think this is the only instrument they have um, um, key switches on. And you know, uh, I am not a fan of key switches. I love performance type instruments that I can just perform with pedals, expression pedals and stuff. But I guess with guitar, there's just so many articulations that it's impossible to avoid the key switches. Okay, so, and then they have the harpsichord an old ancient predecessor of piano, which I always found sounds like evil in a kind of vampire kind of way. I mean, harpsichord, which is basically a plucked uh, piano. Harpsichord and uh, pipe organ is the, the vampire instruments to me. Then they have these old, old uh, piano type instruments. I don't even know what these are. Some of these are like a bit honky in tone. So you have all these unique um, instruments. However, let's dive even deeper, because what you can do with this instrument is so amazing. Let's say you take a toy piano, this one. No, that one. Okay, let's extend the range. Let's go to this. Layers, and then click Layers. You can actually uh, create layered instruments. So layer the toy piano with this, the, let's say, hand pan. Okay, like that. Set 50-50 here in volume, so toy piano, solo, and hand pan. Why does it? Okay, so I need to go into the hand pan um, instrument. Uh, how do I switch between the layers? How do I switch? There. Oh, so uh, no, that was the previous preset. Edit, silly me, and uh, then you can set the plus on this as well. So, if you go to layers again, now we have hand pan with toy pan as layers, so we can create hybrid instrument in that way. That's not uh, original because you can do that in your DW as well, but you know, using several tracks. I prefer having a hybrid 
instruments in one track for workflow. However, this feature, clear again, morphing. Now, it actually, by physical modeling and mathematics, create a hybrid, almost like you breed two instruments. Uh, you take one alien and another alien and create a new, brand new alien race, but with an instrument. Uh, okay, weird way of putting it, but that's basically what it does here. So it morphs this the toy piano with, let's say, the vibraphone uh, mute. You have so you have now with, and instead of layering, simple layering, they morph it like. Could be a cool retro video game sound for example i mean and you can do this with any of the layers and you can even add uh, if you want to so you can you know uh, edit more here let's see we can change the preset here to favor the toy piano or favor the vibraphone add another ingredient which morphs another ingredient so let's do classical guitar warm and now we have this it's basically a new hybrid instrument let's favor the guitar uh what's stop here okay so it doesn't morph anymore so as you can see this instrument goes so deep that it can spend days, weeks, without even scratching the surface of what you can do. And even so, you can just uh, clear the morphing here, go back to... and just use it as a simple instrument plugin. You know, having felt piano... Basically any type of piano color you want, right in one single plugin. Chamber Steinway D. So you can use it as just a sound palette for all these incredible piano presets and sounds. And if you get the pro version or bundle, you can get the electric pianos, chromatic percussion, and all this other stuff as well inside one plugin that takes like I don't even know how, how many megabytes, but it's not gigabytes. I mean, in, if this was a sample library, each of these would be gigabytes and gigabytes. This would probably be several terabytes of data on your hard drive. But with mathematics and algorithms, it's now possible with physical modeling. So that is Piano Tech 8. I will leave a link in the description because I highly recommend you go to their website and check out more details about these instruments and the bundles. And then I will see you in the next video, my friends.